Hi, Vani. Hi, thank you for having me. Sure. This is your first time on Kumu, right? Um, I joined uh, Pia's Kumu before. Uh, yeah, the... Oh, but you're, you were together or ganito din? I think we were together, yeah, we were together. Ah, uh, so this is the first time na you're coming up as a guest talaga, like, with the window and everything. Ha! Huh, Nag-English! <laughs> Vani! Joke-joke lang yan, ha? Kasi akala siguro ni Vani, ano ba lang siya manaw ni Ate Mela? <laughs> Kasi may message niya ako. So, Ate Mela, you can speak Tagalog, ha? <laughs> It's not you, it's the viewers. They're challenging me. Kaya, this will be an EOS, an English-only stream. So, I think this will be my shortest interview, guys. So, mga hanggang 9.50 lang tayo, guys. <laughs> Ayan. But don't worry, Vani. This will be super casual lang. And as in literal na tambay lang. So, chill ka lang dyan. But welcome, welcome to Volley Tambay. You've been uh, highly requested by the fans dahil na-miss ka na agad nila after season uh, 85, no? Parang super hanap sila ng mga updates about you. So, hopefully, mapagkwentohan natin yan tonight. But uh, right now, ayan, go ahead and greet. We have 400 viewers right now. Sana mas madagdagan pa. So, go ahead and greet our viewers. Hi everyone, I can read now. They can't hear me. Can you hear me now? Ayan, hina ako daw yung mic ko. Sorry ah. <laughs> Chusin mo nga to eh. Bagsa kaya kayo dyan. <laughs> yes, okay. Ayan. Hininaan ko na. Sorry English ah. <laughs> no speed mo na kayo tonight. <laughs> adjust kami, adjust kami. Ayan. Okay, oh guys. Pati yung comments daw dyan sa baba, dapat English. Para hindi lang naman ako yung nahihirapan dito. Okay, so ayan, simulan na natin yung volley tambay. So usually kapag ka, um, ganito, lalo na first time, no? sabi ko nga kanina, I love interviewing athletes for the first time kasi parang get to know talaga at mas marami akong natatanong. But um, for starters, ayan, kamusta? Kamusta ka naman, Vani? Um, season 85 is over, so... Ano yung mga ganap mo after the season? Um, yeah, well, I didn't have much time to go on vacation because June 6 dapat yung start ng next conference. So, I started training now with my new team last week. So, yeah. Same lang naman. Uh, training, workout, not, nothing changed after you off. <laughs> So, hindi ka talaga naka, naka-bakasyon after the season? No, no cause wala. Right after yung um, season, we ended medyo early. I mm -hmm. worked out uh, the next Monday. So, mm -hmm. sign din yung condition to okay, so. Yeah. Actually, si Faith then um, parang ganyan yung nangyari na. She was actually planning to go on vacation. Kaya lang, na-pressure din siya sa timeline ng ng um, PVL kasi team started reaching out. I'm sure mas malala yung sayo kasi alam nila na last playing year mo na eh, di ba? Unlike a fate na parang people are trying to convince her pa lang na pro ka ba or, or magstay ka pa ba sa Ateneo ganyan. But um, I guess let's backtrack a little bit dun sa yung season 85, di ba? Um, that was your last playing year for Ateneo. Um, Describe season 85 in a nutshell for Vanny Gandler. Uh, for me, it, mm, it's a uh, season of full of learning. Yeah. Ano yung mga learnings na yan? Well, more of, of course, more about like my skills, na my kulang pa talaga I have to put in more work and na ano um some things really won't go the way you expect it to go and you just need to learn how to accept it and move forward figure out how to just learn from it because you know you, I still have a long journey ahead so <laughs> but your last game you were really explosive. I think you had over 20 points or around 20 points. That was against Enya, right? Tama ba? Yun yung last game nyo. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, yeah. Last game. 
Uh -huh. So we're very we're very happy because at least diba, you you exited I would say gracefully um like as an individual I mean you may not have taken home that win but everyone saw what you were capable of of um doing for Ateneo so ikaw ba pagbabalikan mo season 85 do you feel like may regrets ka that season um no, I'm the type of person uh, I don't I don't really regret, you know, how I was. Of course, I wish I could have done things better, but I don't like calling it a regret cuz well, now I know. Yeah. So moving forward, I know more. I know how to um I saw a quote a book one time, failure shows you the way by showing you what isn't the way. So for me, that's that. You know, now I know what I shouldn't do, what I should do, and then, yeah. <laughs> Ang gift ng quote, sure ako hindi namin naintindihan yon. Pero dahil matalino si Vani, oo, na naintindihan na sa buhay niya yon. Pero tayo viewers, sagot tayo magpanggap. <laughs> Sabi nila, tama. O, oh, ba? Pero, yeah, um, entering season 85 naman, what were your expectations? Kasi sometimes, when you're a senior, may different effect yan eh, na parang, Extra inspired ka because you know it's your last ganyan. So what was it like preparing for this season and your expectations? Yeah, um I expected a lot actually this season. I had high hopes of course for my team. I believed in my team so much. Um sad nga na it really didn't go the way now we expected. Um but I'm still grateful for the team because even though it was like tough, we still learned how to um, enjoy the little things, you know, yung bonding, connections, and coming into the season, yeah, we really ex we really thought we could do much better than how we did, but yeah, um, in the end, we were all just, you know, accepted that that's how it was, and we all know now it's not the end for each and every one of us, even though some of us are moving on with our lives from Ateneo. We know now um, everything's meant uh, meant to be. Everything happened for a reason. Yeah, and definitely, you know, there are a lot of factors as to how the results um, happen that way. So, nothing to take away from Ateneo. We know naman na uh, they try their best, diba? Um, at saka, lahat naman ng teams eh, may highlights. Like, even the teams na nasa bottom ng standings. Like, for UE, I would say, highlights sa kanila. Ang dami lang talented rookies, diba? The future is bright for them. For UP naman, despite them finishing then sa bottom of the standings, meron silang best blocker na awardee, diba? So, you know, those things are key takeaways for for these teams, for these players. At hindi nyo kayo, makiki-English ako dahil. <laughs> Hindi ko yan minactis, mga baliw ko eh. Pero yes, sabi nga ni Bani, <laughs> things are meant to be. <laughs> Nagkakalimutan na ah. Hoy, mag-drop kayo ng gifts dyan, nahihirapan ako. <laughs> Kala nila serious na. <laughs> okay, pero ito naman. So, I believe you're from DLSU when you were in high school, tama ba? Yes, I am from okay. Salzobel. Mm -mm. From La Salzobel. So, you were teammates with sila, sila Angel, tama ba? Yes. Ayan. So, ano naman yung process ng decision making mo? Why did how did you end up with with Ateneo? And syempre we know na rival ano yan, rival school ng ng La Salle. So, bakit naisip mo sa Ateneo ka mag-college? Um, I joined a camp one time no I think junior ako. And then, para I I just felt at home when I was doing Ateneo. And then I was true it was true naman when I joined the team. I really felt like I was welcome and I belonged. So um that that was really it. More of just uh, I felt the home. feeling. Yeah. yeah. At home. Hmm. Pero when you're from La Salle Zobel, meron bang like as you go, nung nung high school ka pa, Hindi mo ba naiisip na, ay, pag-college, lasal din ako? Kasi the program may continuity, di ba? I think some of the coaches, Coach Emil, Coach Emil pa din. So, may ganun bang effect sa'yo? Or like, high school ka pa lang, alam mo na, na you're gonna step out of your comfort zone when you go to college? Um, no, not 
really. Uh, at first, of course, may really I only applied for two schools, so that's Ateneo and Lasal. Mm-hmm. It was really either those two schools, and the campus of Zobel is really far from the campus of Taft. Mm-hmm. So I wouldn't say that it's the same. Um, um, I think if I join Lasal, it's still a new community like that I would have to join. So it's kind of the same, lang. Of course, though, um, you feel at home in Lasal. You're coming from Lasal, but for me, the feeling was the same, lang, when I was deciding. Mm-hmm. And I think um, your choice, naman, it was it was right for you because you did, you know, make your own mark as a player from Ateneo. But ano yung pinaka unforgettable UAAP experience mo? Naka five years ka ba, tama? Pero nabot na pandemic, no? Yeah, five years of school. That was, mm-hmm. I played, ano lang, three. Three. Yeah, three. So actually, I have two playing years. Mm-mm. Yeah. So, ayun. So, sa buong UAP experience mo, ano yung pinaka-unforgettable for you? For me, it's my first year. Aside Why? from yung um, mag-champion kami. Mm-hmm. It was... As a team, it was a great year. I was still, um, but then for me, it was individually, it was a really hard one. Mm-hmm. I think I, my, my next question was gonna be, um, sure, most unforgettable experience. Ano naman yung parang ano ba? Hindi, most unforgettable pero in a bad way. Parang ganyan. Ano yung sige yung yung ganon na lang kasi. Da- dalawa naman talaga yung pagmumulan niyan kung bakit hindi mo makakalimutan ng isang bagay it's either good or bad so let us know yung ano one of each um for me okay it was it was bad but i turned it into something good if it makes sense mm-hmm. parang it was a bad year for me i think if my fans here really watch volleyball then they know na i'm the, i was the most smashed player that season as in oh, me of all time <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's not fun <laughs> um backlash so mm-hmm. i didn't know and coming into college volleyball i didn't know i didn't expect this yung pressure from everything i didn't expect the mental side of it mm-hmm. i thought you know play lang but then uh-huh. I stepped in the court first game um La Salle Ateneo the, mm-hmm. the stadium was full I was like oh no <laughs> that was I played my worst game ever and then yeah there from there I was super bashed as in I mean I get why naman because I played bad talaga mm-hmm. so yeah it was for a long I'll admit for a long time I didn't know how to stand up from that I was really lost I <laughs> This is like something probably I've never said in the public. But yeah, mm-hmm. that year I remember I would cry all the time. Like I was super lost uh, until pandemic na was when I was like, okay, um, I was home alone. I mean, not home alone, but I was home. And then, so I had the uh, no, time to decide like, okay, what do I really want for my volleyball career? Would I like... Um, do I want to be better or not? So, yeah, there I decided like, okay, I think it's time I start working on myself now. And then that first LaSalle game ever in season 81, I couldn't watch for so many years. As in, when I see something, I couldn't watch it. Like, oh my hurt. gosh, my trauma. Yeah, super. Like years. So, the pandemic, when I decided na okay, I want to move forward and I want to be better. That's the first thing I did. I said, okay, I'm going to watch this game. I'm going to accept how I played now and just move on from that. And then there, after that, I was able to uh, um, parang accept criticism now. Because I was like, okay, this is going to help me. Mm. So I, parang my mindset, my mindset shifted. And then there, then I started working. Not only in the pandemic, not only... Physically, I started working on my uh, mental toughness, and yeah. So for me, that year was unforgettable because it mm-hmm. helped me become who I am today. Like it helped me, it helped build me. Although it took two years 
mm-hmm. eventually I got to yeah. realize what you know what's important. So, yeah. You know, Val, you have a lot of fans now, and I would say na deserve mo talaga yung support nila because that was such a beautiful testament, no? Because not everyone can bounce back from that kind of backlash, and it makes me so mad yung ganitong reality. Kasi imagine na ah, hearing from Vani na oh hala niya. Pag maglalaro na siya, play-play lang. Pero the mental side of things, the back- backlash she received, at some point, hindi nga naisip na kakayanin niya. At pasalamat na lang siya na yung pandemic did her good. Because it served as time for her to really motivate herself. Eh, paano kung walang pandemic? Parang, di ba, imagine nyo, paano siya magbabounce back na gano'n? Na yung pressure tuloy-tuloy lang. Na walang downtime, di ba? Yeah. Nakakaloka talaga kasi... She even she even convinced herself na ah I know why I got bashed naman because I played so bad. Oh my god, parang yung mga athletes na yung nag-adjust na deserve nila mga bash, nakakaloka. Kasi 'di ba, as athletes, hindi naman hindi naman kayo robot na palaging maganda yung laro nyo. and it doesn't make it valid for people to throw nasty words at you. Iba yung constructive criticism eh. and I'm sure that's not the only ones you received. Meron talaga ibang below the belt diyan. So, nakakirita lang. Viewers, 470 tayo dito. Sana mabawasan ng 470 yung basher sa volleyball, ha? Ayos ugali. Nakakaloka. Dapat nagmumumog talaga ng muriatic acid tong volleyball kami. Kasi make or break talaga siya, right? The UAAP community, they're, they're either the most supportive on good days, but they're the worst bashers on bad days. O, diba? O, may minus na tayo. May minus na tayo mga bashers. Hala, dahil nanginginig ako. Parang ako rin yung natroma. <laughs> Kasi, the, nakakaloka talaga yung mga ganyan. Sabi ko nga, not everyone can bounce back from that. Oh, at least it makes two of us right now na nakabalik. Pero may iba talaga na nagquit na lang sila ng volleyball, di ba? Huwag na tayo mag-name names. Baka i-stock niyo pa eh. Pero, di ba, may ibang tao na gusto lang naman nila maglaro. Imagine, excited sila. Pasok na akong college, pasok na akong ganto. Actually, kahit kahit hindi naman sa college, eh. kahit niya sa PVN. Kasi 'di ba, hindi naman sa UAP nagtatapos ang ano, ang bashers. Actually, mas nagiging pro pa nga silang magbash sa PVN. So, Vani, wag, wag ka mag-relax. Hindi pa tapos ang laban. May mga haharapin ka pang mga bashers diyan. But I'm so glad na sabi mo nga, you're able to work on your mental toughness because right now being an athlete in the Philippines, especially for basketball and volleyball. Sa volleyball nga mas worse kasi involved pati personal, di ba? So, kailangan talaga extra kapal na yung balat mo sa pagsangga ng mga, alam mo yun, masamang sasabihin sa, 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 sa'yo pag naglalaro ka or personal. Alam mo, huwag ka lang mag-release yung mga personal kay mo <laughs> para wala na rin silang masabi. Pero ayan. So guys, hopefully, di ba, um, itong what what Vani shared to us, it could serve as inspiration also na hindi porket may masamang nangyari, ganun na siya forever. And we're so proud of you, Vani, kasi ako, syempre, as a Twitter troll myself, minsan nakikita ko yan eh, I feel like nag-start siya na sa fans lang talaga lahat. They would set high expectations among the community. Diba? No, wala kumang ginagawa. High school player ka lang, punta ka college. Pero sila yung, oh, Vani is greater than ganito, ganyan. Watch out for her. Kinember, kinember. Updated. Nakafollow kasi ako sa mga volley bayots eh. But anyway, sila yung magsiset ng mga ganon, high expectations. And it would start fan wars na, weh, mas magaling si ganyan, mas magaling si ganyan, ganyan, ganyan. Tapos, when they see you perform na hindi ganong kaganda, they would use it against you. And the other fans din na binild up ka. So, di ba? Para walang kamalay-malay yung mga tao. <laughs> Tapos sila yung nagdi-deal with consequences. Yeah. As an athlete, um, for sure naman, you know, if you play bad, you don't want that then. Mm-hmm. Um, but, like, with everything, you know, there are days na you really struggle. So, for me, I just don't understand na yung part when they make it super personal. It's like, it's not like we want this to happen. Then. Yeah. It's like, and then they try to, or not, some people try to, um, parang remove hate with mm-hmm. hate. For me, it's just, yeah. yeah. So I think it's just, just, um, the best ways to really just add more positive energy mm-hmm. instead of 
trying to multiply. It doesn't make you any better. Yeah. You're doing like sometimes they would feel like they're defending someone by pulling down another person and it makes things worse. Kasi syempre, the cycle goes on, di ba? May magtatanggol din dun sa binababa nila. So, hopefully, you know, as they hear players speak up more, kasi minsan lang namin matouch din to eh. Or like, pag may mga interviews, pag-usapan yung mga bashing, how to recover from it. But, I guess the fans don't really feel the gravity nung effect sa mismong athlete. So, hopefully, mag-tame down na siya. Kasi, before, hindi naman ganyan eh. Like, may sock mid na before, but they would just give mga, ano talaga, constructive criticisms. But ngayon talaga? Ang lala, parang nung nag-pandemic, sumama yung ugali ng mga tao. <laughs> Di ba? Nakakaloka. Pero ayan, so enough na tayo sa medyo mabigat na side. Mag-ano naman tayo dito? Mag-play tayo ng super quick ano lang. Um, naming game. So, Vanny, give me a name of the person you remember first. So, for you, sinong pinakamagaling na UAAP player na nakalaro mo in all your years sa UAAP? For me, ano? Eya Laure. Eya Laure, wow. Pinakamaangas naman. <laughs> Maybe... Belen? <laughs> Michaela Belen. Oh, oo nga eh. Kung, I'm sure yung mga fans nanood sila ng ano, swag fest noong finals. But she's really charming in, in person talaga. Na sometimes, there's a different persona when playing. Yeah. Pero was there ever a time na napikon ka sa mga game antics of your opponents? Actually, when you're inside the court, for, for me at least, when they do that, I don't, notice it. Uh, uh, I see it na lang after sa mga replays. Hmm. But then in the court, I don't see it because when I'm like, let's say error or point, like, I go back to my team. Mm-hmm. So, right. Okay, sige. Next naman, pinakamagandang yung AP player for you? Roma May. Roma May Dramal. Wow. Oo nga, eh, for the freshness. Ang ano. Team Tisay ka kayong dalawa eh. Uy, by the way, Sir Rexy is here. He is co-founder of Kumu and the president of Kumu. Sir Rexy, hello. Welcome to Volley Tambay. <clears throat> Alright. Pinaka-palaban naman na yung AP player for you? Um, Ia. Ia Laurie. Ia Laurie. Oh, are you guys friends off court? Like, do you have engagement outside? Yeah, I see her in the gym. Alright. Same kayo ng ano, yung trainer. Yeah. Uh, okay. Next naman, most improved. Not necessarily season 85. Ha? Like, sino yung player na parang na-remember mo siya kasi at one point nakita mo hindi pa siya ganitong ka, kabongga tapos biglang bug siya, pasabog bigla. Hmm. Pwede yung self mo kasi dami na baboto sa'yo dito sa baba. <laughs> I myself. Oh, it's hard. <laughs> it's a hard question. Can I pass? <laughs> Hala. Bawal po sa, ano, sa Ateneo entrance exam yung nagpapas. <laughs> <laughs> Or sige, season 85 na lang. Para, ano, mas madali. Okay, I'll say Jules. Jolens, yeah. Uy, okay. So, actually, mamaya ko pa ito dapat itatanong. But since you mentioned Jolens already, kasi um, a lot of fans um, left a question kanina sa IG sticker ko kung how did your friendship start now with Jolina and tell us more about what you think of Jolina. Um, it started because we have mutual friends. Mm-hmm. So, we went to the beach together last year and when we first, and this was our first um, time, like meeting, but Parang it was easy to talk. She was easy mm-hmm. to talk. We bonded yeah. right away. And it's... Parang we didn't have to try. Mm-hmm. And... Like click agad. Yeah. <laughs> and like, um... Joss is super friendly. Super hardworking din. And that's why I'm so happy for her. Because I know din... I know how she feels na last season 84, everyone kept bashing her. I don't know why. Mm-hmm. 
My fans yeah. are probably watching here. I don't know if <laughs> my fans bash her. I don't want that because just like me, I also have, you know, my days now. I don't think you need to compare me and her. So we're different. Were, were you guys batchmates? Season 81 yeah. rookies. Yeah. Oh. Because I was going to say, diba sabi mo, Janina is super friendly, ganyan, ganyan. She's actually my second favorite in her batch, in your batch, kasi yung una si Aya, tapos siya yung nag-favorite ko. Vani, ikaw na talaga yung pangatlo. Binuon niyo na yung bago ako. Favorite ko na kayong tatlo. You guys were so talented and nice. But anyway, okay, tuloy-tuloy. Yeah, so, yun nga, we got close in that beach trip and then we just, parang we always talk after that. And our, so I think our support for one another is super strong because we both know how it feels so you know we've gone through yeah. the same you know <laughs> legit the same it's like they're always it's either they're bashing me or they're bashing um <laughs> they are the same oh my gosh and i don't know we don't know why. <laughs> Like, I'm just... yung roleta ng bashing. <laughs> well, don't worry, minsan yung roleta na kay Ea din. <laughs> okay. Yeah, um... Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. And then, I'm just... I'm happy for her. I'm happy, really, really happy for what they achieved this season, especially her. But as a senior that graduated, how she ended her UAP career is how I always dreamt of ending mine. Mm-hmm. So, parang super genuine yung um, feeling of happiness towards her because I know we've been through the same and I'm just happy that she was able to end it. Yeah. Great, ano din, like, testament talking about her and si Mars Alba. Mars Alba also got bashed a lot. Like, parang... <laughs> oh, then Ay, nako. Most, most improved. Yeah, okay. So, si, yeah. si Mars Alba, most improved. Grabe, no? Ang bigat. Kasi parang... Hindi maawala yung bashing sa usapan dahil talagang na-experience nila. Nakakaloka. Anyway, it's just so nice to see na they all, majority of them bounce back from it. Una-una, they don't have a choice kasi if they want to pursue this line of career talaga, kailangan na mag-bounce back. Otherwise, nakita na natin yung mga players talaga na minsan nag-iba-iba na sila ng team but the bashers talaga will follow them hanggang sa sila na lang yung mag-quit. So, don't let them win. Hindi <laughs> na tayo pinapakain. <laughs> okay, balik tayo sa naming game. Sino daw ang favorite Atene or Rookie mo? Oh, I don't wanna choose. <laughs> wanna choose? That's me. No! <laughs> you can explain naman why. Rookie, oh, so... Okay, I'll just say my closest. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. For Pia. <laughs> okay, Pia. Your, ano naman? Your favorite teammate naman? I'm not gonna choose a favorite. <laughs> Closest. Closest. <laughs> okay. We've been through. Um, Sino? Sorry. Yara Cruz. She's my oh, best Yara Cruz. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay, since nag-naming game naman na tayo, Vanny, we're gonna proceed to Vanny Gandler's UAAP Best. So this time, you're gonna select the UAAP awardees for season 85. No ano to, no, no technical factors or what. Basta kung sino yung feel mo na best in that department. It doesn't have to be super backed up by stats or whatever. Parang yung who made that impression na lang for you. So sino yung best o... OH mo. Two. Okay, wait. Um, I don't wanna um, discredit naman those yeah. that one. Okay, so it's just also, let's say, let's see if they had another award, then I'll add. This. Yeah, yeah. You know, I, I asked the same thing kay Aya at Faith. It, it really just happened na dalawa lang talaga yung awards na pwede bigay in this position, but there were really a lot who stood out this season. Okay. Um, OH3. <laughs> <laughs> okay, A O H A. Um, middle na one. The other school. Other song. This is hard. <laughs> um. Okay, I'll say. And who's your other O H now? I said the other one's A. Who's the other one? I will go with. 
Fit. Ian Fit. Okay. Middles. Middles. Punghuan. So it was um gagate Gag and and itang. Itang. Okay. So I'll say she nattering from NU. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And AC. Yes. Love your own teammates. Okay, AC and Sheena. Uy, get Wilson kay Sheena. Sana okay na siya. Nasad ako dun kasi, oh, ano ba yun? Last games na lang na ano pa siya. Anyway, please pray for Sheena to rain. Okay, next. Best opposite. Best opposite. Oh wait, can I choose those na? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I can. Mm -hmm. but, uh, okay, mm -hmm. I thought I had to add. Best opposite, um, Solomon. Yeah. Okay. But the best opposite now was, you know, well, ah, Joe Fernandez, right? Okay. So, Salomon. Mm -hmm. Best setter. I think you serve me a Mars. Mars, right. Okay. And best libero naman. See, um, I dare Pepito or Hazarin. Okay, Peter Hazareno. Um, ito naman. Ito talaga nagpahirap. I feel like nagpahirap sa mismong UAAP board. Nagpahirap sa fans. Who is your MVP? Kasi ang dami talaga. <laughs> like, technically, stats-wise, super dikit-dikit talaga. Like, point something-something lang. But for you, when we say MVP of Season 85, sino yung pipiliin mo? Uh, I'll say Angel or Aya. Yeah. You can't um you can't deny naman na Angel's super good. Yeah. So deserve the man mm -hmm. Okay, so Angel and Aya, I feel like dapat talaga may co MVPs. <laughs> Kasi imagine taking them out of the equation, no? Sa mga teams sila. We don't know who it they will have the same results. If USC will be able to finish Final Four, or if will Lasal be able to get the championship without Angel? So they are equally MVPs of their own teams, di ba? Ayan. Okay. Eto naman. Sino daw ang setter that you look forward to playing with? Like all-time dream setter. Kasi we know you have a teammate na sa, sa signal, di ba? But who's your all-time um, dream setter? Of course, Ate Gia. Uh, oh. Probably uh, a dream to spike her set. <laughs> have you guys played together? No. Or tune up or... Oh. Together in one team. No, even against each other, no. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, ayan. Okay, so wag natin itanong yung... Ito isa. <laughs> Dahil nasagot na niya to kanina, yung closest UAP player. Oh, would you say Jolens is your closest UAP player from other schools? Or mayroon pang iba? Yeah. Jolens. Yeah. Okay. May bago na tayo favorite duo. Kasi before, ano ko eh, Ea Jolens. Parang, trio na lang pala. Ea Jolens and Fanny. Alright, ito naman, let's transition na uh, a bit more to your your life para get to know the, the fans. So, tell us a bit more about Vanny Gandler. Ano daw yung three words to describe you? Um, resilient. Resilient. Yes. Um, Hardworking. Mm -hmm. And uh, <laughs> May ganito talaga, no? You would see how humble some of the athletes are kasi they find it hard to find compliments about themselves. <laughs> so resilient, we know, we're witnesses of how resilient you are. Hardworking, di ba? What else? The last word. Super fresh daw. <laughs> Super fresh. Suggestions. Um, mm -hmm. Better ones. <laughs> I don't know. Um, no. uh, determined. Determined. Oh. Yeah. So, super determined kasi, di ba, nakita naman natin the fruits of your determination, hard work, and resilience. Ito na siya, the Vanny Gandler version 2.0. 
Ayan. Next naman, what is something, nakakaslambok to, what is something other people don't usually know about you? Hmm. Hmm. I feel like... I can't think of anything that they don't know. Uh, parang, actually, parang tahimik ka nga. Kasi ako talaga, alam ng tao lahat about me. Kasi I'm an open book. <laughs> Ultimo, parang, just ko, men's men cycle ko yata. Alam nila, char. <laughs> Super open. Parang kasuala lang talaga. <laughs> As a Gemini. Ay, anong zodiac mo, Vani? Ay. 